how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, let's get this vlog underway. <clears throat> so last time I said that this one would be um, about balance, uh, but I wasn't sure if it's going to be more of a writerly one, more of a life one or something in between to um, start entirely sure so I'm just going to start talking and sort of see what comes out of me <laughs> which, are always the, which are always the best ones I think um, so balance is something that is important to me both in terms of how I write and the things that I write and in terms of my personal life um, I think balance is important um, in many different ways in many different contexts because uh, obviously there's a lot of different contexts that you know you can have balance sort of in um so balancing like your work life and your, you know your fun life and your personal life and you know your emotional health and and, and your mental health and everything like that it's, it's all a balancing act it's all a juggling act so you know balance is something that's very important and to me in terms of um who I am and how I am. Um, balance kind of means stability. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I should clarify that a little bit. It's sort of that idea of centering yourself and pulling everything to, to sort, of, sort of together and it, it sort of falls in line with all the things that I've talked about before with being more of an optimist. Um, and being sort of very confident in who I am as a person, um, but it all comes down to finding this balance within myself um, of, you know, yes, there, there is something bad that has happened, but at the same time, something good could come out of it. Um, and that's sort of very grounded sort of way of, of thinking, a very sort of level and steady way of, of thinking about things. Um, and that idea does translate into a lot of my writing. I mean, uh, any of you have seen, I think I've talked about it in at least one of the, the earlier vlogs on this channel, but the balance is something that is uh, a focal point of the multiverse. Um, the idea that, you know, there there is good and there, there is evil and everything in between. <laughs> and there's a lot of grey. Um, and to me, grey is, is balance. If it's you know a mixture of both good and evil and it's it's balanced it's unbalanced if it's all good and it's unbalanced if it's all evil unless that all good has something that counteracts it and that all bad has something that counteracts it um or something in the, in the center to sort of ground it slightly when it's either one of the extremes and, and i think that's kind of how I much how i much <laughs> That's, I think, how I kind of think of, of life in general. If you have anything on either end of the spectrum where it's just the extreme focus of whatever it is you're doing, whether that is you're extremely focused on work and only work, or you're extremely focused on having fun or only fun and only fun, then, you, then you're out of balance. And that's when things are likely to go wrong. That's when things are not necessarily going to go the way that you want it to. That's when you lose sight of what's actually important and what actually matters um whereas when you're in, in balance and you kind of go well, actually the fun and the work are both important let's you know bring this together and and find sort of a common ground that's when um when things tend to go better that's when you can see the bigger picture and for me balance is all about that bigger picture and um as i said it's one of the things that does influence my writing quite a lot it, something bad happens to my characters and something bad will happen to my characters quite a lot <laughs> because I'm a terrible, terrible person. <laughs> um, if something bad happens to my characters, there's, there's usually something to counteract it. It's never this bad thing has happened for a reason and this good thing is happening as a result of that. It's more a case of this bad thing has happened, but there's also this good thing that has happened. And sometimes those two things are, are related and connected and sometimes they're not. But my character's being able to see that actually, yes, the bad things happened. And, you know, there are some good still is important. 
because when you lose sight of the other side of things, um, then then you, you go out of balance. If all you can see is the bad, all you can see is the worst, then you're, you're going to end up sort of depressed and, and you know spiraling and struggled and struggling and stressed and and all of these other things that it's not a fun way for a person to live and yes my characters do go through periods of times where they they do experience those lows and those frustrations and those you know that inability to see the good or or inability to see the the bigger picture but I always try to bring them back to a state of balance, uh, a state where they can see both sides of it and they can kind of go, yes, this bad thing has happened, but, you know, at the same time, there is there is still good, there is still positive. Um, and as I said, it, it's all, it all comes down to like my own mindset, and my own way of, of viewing the world. I mean, I've gone through some some pretty low moments over the last few few years. Fortunately, the last year or so hasn't been. Oh, I, say, I say that, and then I was terribly unwell last year. <laughs> I was about to say, fortunately, nothing really bad has happened in the last year or so. But no, I was incredibly unwell with my health and stuff last year. So, I've you know, I've gone through quite a lot um, over the last few years, and a lot of that has not been positive stuff, and a lot of that's been very stressful stuff, and a lot of that is, you know stuff that does continue to to reside within me and, and continue to bother me but I never lose sight of all, all the positive things I never lose sight of all the good things in my life um and you know sometimes there are there are days where I just were like oh I just want to come up and cry um but then equally there are days where I'm like you know what this has been a fantastic day this has happened and it's made me really happy and it might be like the tiniest tiniest thing in the world but it's made me happy and that's that's what matters that's that's the thing that will bring me back into balance that's the thing that will bring me back to a center that's the thing that will bring me back from you know not being able to see anything positive and then you know finding that one thing and sort of re you know rebalancing myself recentering myself and, and you know reminding myself that you know the world is full of a lot of, of gray and Grey is balance, and balance is, for me, <laughs> personally, balance is good. Balance is positive, because life isn't all about, you know, good and evil, right and wrong, bad, good, luck, unlucky, you know, that kind of thing. It, it, it's a bunch of grey, and the grey is, is balance. The grey is that area in between where sometimes things might be more good than bad and sometimes things might be more bad than good but at the end of the day it's not those extremes it's not that you know the the ends of the spectrum it's that bit in between and that bit in between is important that bit in between is what allows us to function in some ways or allows me to function in some way um because it's just i don't know it's it's one of those things where I like that neutrality. That's not to say that I don't like being really happy or I'm not, you know, free of stress when, when bad things happen. But I like that neutrality of emotion, that sort of in-between state of emotion where you can move to happy emotions and you can move to sad emotions, but you always sort of ground yourself in this sort of center where you're not quite one and you're not quite the other and again that's that's a sort of balance and that's a sort of state of being where you allow yourself very much to see that bigger picture and take a step back and see the solutions um, that you might not see if you're at one end of the spectrum or the other end of the spectrum because there is such a thing as being too positive about something um, as well as, as you know, being too negative about something. So it's all about finding a way of grounding yourself. And for me, that means balancing myself. That means, you know, accepting that, you know, sometimes things are going to be out of balance, but they're always going to eventually line up again. There's always going to be a positive to a negative, even if it's not a direct result. There's always going to be something that will happen that will turn a, a negative into a positive or 
likewise there might be something less positive <laughs> about a good situation but it's about accepting that you know sometimes that is just how things are and that's not a bad thing bad things are not bad things <laughs> they're not great things but they're not bad things they're opportunities so you know whether it's something that's good that's happened or whether it's something that's bad that's happened it's it's an opportunity to to learn and to grow and to change your circumstances if you need to change your circumstances or, or whatever else and you know sort of a fairly recent um example of this would be um so I lived with this roommate for a while um and I helped to take out a contract phone which you know being young and naive wasn't the smartest move in the world um but you know she you know I, I decided I wanted to help her sort of do it and we were living together and we were getting on so and I didn't see any reason why it would be a problem um and then she got unwell, uh, quite seriously unwell, she did you know, almost die, <laughs> uh, so it wasn't, you know, a, a, a fun experience for her, but whilst she was sick in the hospital, she ran up a rather sizable, rather sizable phone bill, which, um, because she wasn't working, because she was unwell, she couldn't pay off, um, she, and, and it was this, this awkward situation where she basically went into hospital pretty much the same day we got the phone out for her um so we hadn't had the chance to set her up as a, a as a named person on the contract that they could speak to um and because of that um and obviously because she went into hospital and it wasn't exactly the first thing on my mind when i was worrying about her um it did take a while to set her up as somebody that they could speak to um and then a whole bunch of other stuff happened and we sort of parted on four terms uh with her leaving me with a lot of bills to have to pay off by myself and, and sort out myself but the one thing i made her promise me was that she would sort out this phone one because that was all her that was her responsibility yeah last year so this is about four or five years later um i get a letter through because obviously i started um doing like the stuff that i needed to do in order to improve my credit in order to get a mortgage um and that had alerted people to where i was um and i got a letter through which had turned that rather already sizable phone bill into something even more sizable <laughs> um so you know i had to phone up and stuff like i look you know as far as i was aware this had been put into her name and we you know we'd done what we needed to do at the time to put it into solely her name so um i was a bit confused as to why it was chasing after me but apparently things had basically they couldn't find her anymore so it had come back to me uh so yeah, last year I ended up having to pay that off, um, which wasn't the funnest thing in the world. It, you know, it really hurt my savings quite a lot. Um, and I had, you know, to spend a couple of months basically just not spending money at all um, in order to sort of recover financially, because, you know, I'm not, I'm not somebody who has a huge amount of money to begin with. Um, but on the sort of the positive so that's like a huge ball of negative uh, but on the positive side of that it um gave me a chance to sort of rethink how i was budgeting things so i now budget things a lot better which is something i kind of needed to do in order to get the mortgage anyway um and it also meant that it was cleared from my credit history so it was no longer going to be this thing that could stand against me um and yeah it yes it was a big ball of, of negative but i still see like those things as being a positive outcome because if i hadn't been aware of it then you know if i hadn't been made aware of it if i hadn't then taken action and done something about it um when i came to get my mortgage 
I might not have been able to get my mortgage because of something I you know, hadn't been aware of was still an issue. Um, I, you know, occasionally worried it might still be an issue, but until that moment in time, I had no way of knowing whether it would be an issue or not. And so, yes, it was a hassle, and yes, it wasn't fun, and yes, you know, I was so, so upset when it happened. Um, but the fact that I, you know, handled the situation, I found a way out of that situation, it, you know, it was a couple of months of hardship in order to pay it off in get it sorted and get it cleared but on on the other side it's taught me to budget a little bit better than I was <laughs> um and not to be spending my money quite so frivolously I'm not a frivolous spender but it made me think a bit more about how I was spending my money which you know little bits here and there I think I hadn't really been thinking about too much, um, but they, they do do add up um, and it's made me sort of think more about that and, and as I said, budget a lot better. Um, and at the same time, you know, it meant that it wasn't something I'd have to worry about going forward. It meant it wasn't something that was going to haunt me going forward. It meant that, you know, when it came to, um, when it came to applying for, for my mortgage application, I didn't have to worry about it coming back and haunting me from the past because I knew it had been dealt with. I knew what had happened with it. And I knew it had been dealt with because I dealt with it. And yes, it was an absolute headachey hassle of a thing to have dealt with, but, you know, it resolved and everything came back into a state of, of balance. And actually my situation improved because of the headache. <laughs> um, so, you know, when I when I sort of talk about being somebody who, you know, likes to see the other side of a situation, likes to try and look at a situation and go, okay, this is a terrible thing that's happened, but because this has happened, X, Y, and Z has been able to happen, or I've, you know, taken advantage of X, Y, and Z. That that's very much what I mean. So, yeah, the 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 idea of you know everything being in balance and you know, having to be in balance with yourself is so important to me because if I didn't have that that sense of balance, that ability to see um, both sides of the situation, the ability to look objectively at things, then I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I would have coped, um, quite honestly, because, you know, it was, it was not fun. <laughs> it was a not fun thing to find out. Um, and, you know, it, it was it was just yeah <laughs> it was what it was <laughs> um i have no idea how focused this has really been and and stuff like that it feels kind of like a bit of a, a ravelry all over the place sort of one um which doesn't make which like is like almost completely counter to um counter to the point <laughs> supposed to be talking about balance and this is probably the most unbalanced vlog I've ever done <laughs> but I hope you know even if it's not sort of on point or on theme or whatever else I've kind of hopefully got across um you know why I feel like this is like something that's important to me and why it's sort of you know even if I'm not necessarily thinking of it in the way that other people think of it um why I kind of think of it in the way that I think of it and why you know it's something that influences me as a person and me as a writer um because of again my my outlook on life and, and you know, the way I view the world and and, and whatever else <laughs> all right okay um not sure what else I can really say about this one so I'm gonna wrap it up here um, next time, well, the subject is going to be symbolism. <laughs> so I get the feeling this is going to be more of a writerly one, um, which, you know, I, I, I don't throw them in as often as I used to anymore. So it should be interesting getting back to something that's definitely more focused on the writing. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, despite how unfocused it's been. <laughs> 
Um, I hope you are looking forward to the next one, which should also hopefully be more focused. <laughs> and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.